This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Warning, always replace brake pads and pairs on both the left and right sides of the vehicle. Never replace the brake pads on just one side. The dust created by the brake system is harmful to your health. Do not inhale any of it and never use compressed air to blow out the brake dust. Use brake system cleaner only. Remove the cap from the brake fluid reservoir. Block the wheels at the opposite end. Loosen the wheel lug nuts, raise the vehicle and support it securely on jack stands. Remove the wheels. Work on one brake assembly at a time, using the assembled brake for reference if necessary. Before disassembling the brake system, position a drain pan under the brake assembly and clean the caliper and the surrounding area with brake system cleaner. Again, do not use compressed air and do not inhale any brake dust. Using a C-clamp, push the piston back into its bore to provide room for the new pads. As the piston is depressed, the fluid in the master cylinder reservoir will rise. Make sure it doesn't overflow. If necessary, siphon off some of the fluid and only use new brake fluid when refilling. Remove the lower caliper bolt, then pivot the caliper upward to gain access to the pads. Secure the caliper in the upward position with a length of wire. Remove the inner and outer brake pads. Remove the top and bottom pad support plates from the mounting bracket. Pull the caliper with the guide pin out of the mounting bracket. Clean it, then lubricate it with a film of high temperature brake grease and reinstall it. Now remove the lower guide pin. Clean it, then lubricate it with a film of high temperature brake grease and reinstall it. Install the new pad support plates to the caliper mounting bracket. Install the new inner brake pad, then the new outer brake pad. Be sure to install the pads with the wear indicator in the proper direction. Swing the caliper down and install the caliper mounting bolt. Tighten the caliper mounting bolts to 20 foot-pounds. After the job has been completed, Firmly depress the brake pedal a few times to bring the pads into contact with the disc. Install the wheels and lug nuts, then safely lower the vehicle. Tighten the wheel lug nuts to 83 foot-pounds. Refill the master cylinder reservoir to the indicated lines with the proper type of new brake fluid to compensate for the fluid taken out previously. Check the operation of the brakes carefully before placing the vehicle into normal service.